Every now and then, Adobe brings out a new update across all the applications. And the 2017 update of all the apps that we use like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign and After Effects have just landed. There are so many new features and updates to the actual applications that it's hard to cover them all. So I'm gonna be covering my favorite application. Today I'm gonna to tell you and show you some of the new amazing features in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. The first update on the list is Pixel Perfect Artwork. If you are a logo app designer or a logo abstract iconographer, then you'll know some of the difficulties with aliasing in your designs when they're scaled from large to small. Aliasing is basically the fluffy edges around a design because of the pixels and it doesn't look very good when it's small. Well, Adobe Illustrator now enables us to create pixel perfect artwork. This basically means that we can draw shapes and different illustrations using pixel grids. When we click the pixel perfect function, our shapes will actually snap to the pixel grid whilst we're designing, which is an amazing feature. We can also right click on other designs that we've created, whether they're just little icons or little shapes that we want to create and make them pixel perfect. Now this isn't good for anything like, you know, too technical or anything with a lot of curves in it because they sort of like go against the pixel grain. But if you're creating very much abstract icons for apps or if you're creating shapes for different designs, then this is probably the best feature for you. This means no matter how small your design is, it's gonna look great and you don't have to worry about aliasing. As for me, that isn't my favorite feature, but it's one that they're shouting about the most. The next featured update is a really good one as well for anyone who does branding stationery. Adobe Stock now actually has design templates in their stock pile of different things. Adobe Stock is now integrated into libraries as well. So this means that if we find a template that we like, we can just click and drag it onto our document and waza, we've got the actual template there. This feature is highlighted not only because of its coolness and its speediness, but also because of its functionality and the fact that we'll get work done quicker. As a designer, we have to be constantly aware of the time that we're spending on different projects, especially if you're freelance and you're juggling different projects around. So little features like this where things are made very quick and easy and we don't have to search Google for them or go into other stock websites to make things a heck of a lot easier for us and saves us a bunch of time. Adobe have also introduced the Typekit Marketplace. Typekit is where we can find a bunch of fonts that we like and easily just get them into our document and download them. These fonts are from some of the biggest names in the font industry and we can now search for them, buy them within the Typekit function. And that leads me on to this next update, live font previews. Have you ever been working on a business card design or a poster design and you didn't like the font that you've used? So you went ahead to the fonts panel and you looked for a different font, but all you see is the sample word with the font there. You don't actually see the word live of what it would be like if you were to choose that word or that font. Well now Adobe Illustrator has live font preview, so whenever we've highlighted the text that we want to change the font of and we hover over a different font in the font panel, it will automatically preview that font for you. You see, this kind of update is huge for designers because we need to make sure that we're spending time on things that matter, not choosing different fonts based upon what it might look like, but we can see it perfectly every single time and this will save us at least a few seconds when designing a business card or a flyer. The next big update and my favorite update of them all has to be the new user interface. Adobe Photoshop recently had a new UI change and that means that the whole sort of user interface, everything that you look at is a bit more modern and looks updated. Well, Illustrator has had the new look enabled to them now. So you can go onto your Illustrator after you've downloaded the update and you can see the new UI change. And the reason why I love the new UI is not because it's just something new, even though I just like things that are new. I think it's also great because everything is a lot more identified so you can see things clearer. Design is definitely better within this user interface. But you have to know, the user interfaces do change over time depending on what the companies are trying to do. Now it's more of a flat UI, so we're onto a bit of a winner here and I'm looking forward to be getting used to this new user interface. Everything is just so much more cleaner and simpler to look at. And those are some of the best updates from Adobe Illustrator 2017. So make sure you go and download the new update and have fun 
playing with it. Also, let me know your thoughts on some of the new updates and let me know what works best for you, what you like and what you don't like. Leave it all in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. And if you haven't done it already, go and check out the last video around here somewhere where I show you how to ink your artwork correctly for lettering. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.